Hi, how are you, my little friend? Good, good. I'm here in my camper van because I thought it might be it's outside. I run out of energy, you know. Yes. Yeah, sure. Oh, there's loads joining us. Can you see the comments? Um, yeah, but I also have my iPad here, okay. so I try. I try to see it on the iPad because otherwise I have to lean forward. Let me see. Max Music. Yeah, let's have a look. We've got loads on. Thank you to everyone for joining us. It's yes, so hey, cool. thank you. <laughs> but uh, I'm doing this the first time, so it's going to take like a minute until I understand what I have to do. No problem. Um, I'm, so. I'm still learning. I'm not very technical. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this, so I could get more confident. Okay. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> learning by doing. Yeah, it's so, about... Um, yeah, I'm at the Max Music on your iPad now, um, but... I don't see the oh oh wait I have that is live so I have to press the live but I'm now I'm twice on live. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to read some of the comments. Yeah. Let's say hello to some people. I've scrolled up. So we've got we've got loads on here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who have we got? Um, we've Slovakia. got. I think I, I saw. A, yeah, saw that. I saw Estonia. Um, I saw Brazil. Thank you. That's nice. Thank you from I wish I could um, see the. I could see the. I only see one line of the of um of the messages, okay. so I wish I could see like more. Ah, ah, strange. Um, Chile. Hello, greetings from Chile. Hi, Chile. And we've got Hello, um, Chile. Osval Dokci. I'm a fan. So you've got um mm. a big fan on here. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got a fan. Here. Yeah, <laughs> and you've got the one here. I have to apologize. I have uh, I have um, a bit of a of a cold, so okay. I'm, I have something to to stop me from coughing. So okay, that's that's why. Have you have you got a drink? Yeah, nearby. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Um, and <laughs> yes, we've got hello from Kazakhstan. Wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh wow. Nice. We're, we're going for it here. This is this is a first. There's many like different countries. Have you mm. been to these places? No, no. Have you been? Kazakhstan? Not. No, I've travelled a lot, but um, I also not been to Chile. These are all countries I would love to go. So mm -hmm. please invite me. I come. <laughs> Brazil yeah. would be nice. Peru and yeah. South America. But I'm, I'm traveling this direction in winter, but but private, um, on, like on a Caribbean cruise, and then I stay over there. Ooh, sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. Mexico, or, or, let's see. Well, let's see. Once I'm in the area, I can travel. Yeah. So you're in uh, a different part of the world. So you're originally from Germany, mm -hmm. is that correct? You do? Yeah. And yeah. you're in a different part of the world at this minute. I'm in Croatia right now. Lovely. And in a week, I'll be in um, in Athens and in, in Greece. Beautiful. In your camper van. Um, now I'm in my camper van. That, that's why the background. Yeah. Because uh, to, uh, outside it would be uh, too unsafe. Um, um, you know, also who's who's running by, <laughs> and um, um, and but no, no I I will uh, park the camper van somewhere and then I fly to uh, Athens and then I board the ship. Wow, oh, lovely, mm. nice. And your camper van looks really nice. It looks modern, or is it old? No, it's it's. It's relatively modern. It's uh, I bought it um, a 2015 new. So. Wow! Oh, it looks really plush. It looks very nice. Yeah, it's, it's. I mean, you don't see a lot of it, but it's nice. Yeah, <laughs> but it's yeah. small because I wanted to be able to handle it alone. Mm -hmm. mm. Cool. Um, so I see, yeah, there's people watching. I I see this for the very first time Instagram Live. How how it looks because you you cannot try it until you do it. That's right. Right. Yeah, that's right. Maybe, maybe you could start to um, to start doing these. They might be good for you. Maybe I don't yeah. know what you do. I, w I would love to. I'm, I just I'm just always afraid nobody will join in. You know, I'm sitting oh. there alone talking to myself. Don't say that. Look at all these people <laughs> on here. I, no, don't say that. That's just a belief. That's got to go. That. Yeah. Um. Um. Frederick's. He's the main man in the house. He's here Hi, every week. Frederick. Hello, Elise. Hi. Again. Hi, Frederick. Um. And we also had. Um, um, it's Felix, a, Felix. Oh, I see two oh, lines. I can only see. Maybe ah. I, if, what, what happens if I press on it? Uh, then I see four well, lines. Try it. <laughs> Worst case scenario, it cuts out. We, I can always invite yes, you again. It all again. falls apart. I, <laughs> uh, no. Then I can answer people. Okay. But I can't type uh, while I'm. No, but you're constantly. Yeah. So, um, 
can you can you start from the beginning? Like, how did you get involved with music? But I, I'd love to know, and I'm sure the fans would love to know. Um, um what? Yeah. How did it happen? How old was you? And how was you inspired by a certain artist or band growing up? Um, but I was uh, maybe a teenager. I always mm -hmm. always had this vision, me on the stage. But the problem was I couldn't play any instrument. Mm -hmm. So um, I really liked synthesizers, and I my, my memories from when I when I really felt I want to do this was uh, Kraftwerk, the model. Yeah, yes. Kraftwerk. She is a model and she's like it work and good. <laughs> <laughs> it was in German. I, it was in German. Then. Yeah, love it. And um, also the Star Trek melody, you know. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> you, you remember Star Trek? Uh, I remember Star Trek, but I don't remember the. Do you the, mean the tune, like the theme the, tune for Star Trek? The theme tune. They're very. I mean the classic Star Trek, okay. you know, the very uh, old one. Okay. I was a small child then. <laughs> Maybe I watched it in the reruns. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> no, so that was a memory. And I think also that the operatic vocal came from that. Yeah. And I'm not sure if you're aware of Klaus Nomi. Yeah, unfortunately, he died very early of, of AIDS. He was one of the first artists who were, were known. And he uh, he was a man, but he, um, uh, he, he sang in this falsetto voice. Wow. A very high okay. voice. And he also performed David Bowie. So David Bowie took actually Klaus Nomi's costume. He, he sort of ripped off the idea, but he, I mean, he incorporated him. Okay. He still sang in the background. So um, it was, it was, these are the memories as a child that I felt, wow, this is good. Yeah. I like the electronic cool, mm -hmm. coolness from uh, Kraftwerk. And um, I like the, the drama of, of the operatic. Yeah, so I mean, I was inspired by Pet Shop Boys, of course, you know, West End Girls. So. Yes. And Girls. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that's why I, basically I, I started, I thought, well, he can't, I, he can't really sing, so I can do that. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you have that influence, actually. There's, there's, um, Definitely. There's I mean, it was that and Yellow, you know, you know, Yellow is a Swiss group. I've heard of them. Yeah. Um, they, they have name. lots of lots of hits like the race of uh, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. You know? oh yeah. No, I, you know? oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know them. No, yeah. I'll have to. I'll have to do some research on them. I've been looking on your YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I'm really impressed. Really? You've got a really great YouTube channel. Mm. You've got music videos like behind the scenes from 15 years ago yeah. or more. Yeah. Uh, really I, I I filmed good. myself because I studied media design, so I filmed myself, and when I um. Uh, I, I handed it over to uh, to some people to film me when I'm in the makeup. I, when I wished, I, I would have done it with, with Shut Up. But then, you know, it was a very um, fast shoot. So uh, Shut Up in Sydney cost, uh, cost half of the money as uh, as Golden Boy. Okay. And it was made in Austria and um, Golden Boy was made in London. So uh, okay. uh, there I had a little bit more time. There was a big team so I could okay. film. Yeah. So... Um when you when you were obviously inspired and everything and then did you did you learn how to produce and use synthesizers how did how did you transition into becoming an yeah. artist ah, yeah so, so um i i thought i have all these ideas but how can i you know how can i record them and the technology was not like today you, you couldn't mm -hmm. sing into a computer so i had to buy a four track tape little like normal tapes but uh, it, it would record the backside at the same as at the same time the stereo mm -hmm twice yeah. so um i um uh i bought that and the synthesizer and then i layered some tracks mm -hmm. but it was very very difficult bit back then because you had to make one track from the beginning to the to the end you had to play yeah. it and then sing over it and then make another track yeah. i mean you could punch in but it's not like with a computer so i i did that wow. and um yeah. and then you know you, you had these uh, keyboard magazines that that i bought mm -hmm. Uh, there was no internet, so uh, yeah. So I, I bought um, uh, these these out of from, from England. They were very very expensive on on import. So everything I could get about producers like Trevor Horn, you know, who who did Frankie Goes to Hollywood, yes. is my big producer idol. Yeah. So I I didn't did not only have artists as an idol, so but producers. So because I always knew I'm not so talented, <laughs> I'm a little bit talented, but okay. I, 
I, I, I couldn't, I wasn't like the kind of singer who goes, um, I mean, back then there wasn't these casting shows, but I couldn't um, yeah. uh, go in a casting show. But actually many successful people would not stand in a, in a, in, in a casting show. Yeah. But so I knew to have something else, uh, I pre um, show them my idea in a, in a finished, uh, in a finished way. So in the 90s, the kind of the competitions that I recall, um, which weren't on the television, were like stars in their eyes and search for, for search for the stars. Because mm -hmm. I actually that's what I actually did. I went um, when I was living in Germany in the 90s, mm -hmm. I actually went in for a competition called search for the stars. Yeah. So that was the kind of thing back then. But now it's obviously X Factor and yeah, no, like we, so, we yeah. didn't have that. Yeah. for a long time maybe in the 2000s it started yeah mm -hmm. so um so you you're reading these magazines and you're learning all about producing and you and at this point are you making your own tracks um, um yeah yeah like but them? i kept it secret actually yeah. i had my my keyboard and yeah. um i hid it from my family because i thought they, they said well can you play us something you know and, and I, I couldn't i had to record everything uh track by track and then i felt you know I can't really sing. Back then, I had still my tonsils, so okay. my voice was a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And I always thought I'm I'm singing it, but I'm singing it for a singer, for another singer. Okay. And that's how how, how they came with the opera voice. That oh. opera voice was actually my um, my after school English teacher. So, okay. I mean, she was I trusted her, you know. Yeah. So I yeah. could tell her. So, you know, I thought, so, you 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 free, you know. <laughs> and then she 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 did it. And, um, I mean, it it doesn't get more real than this, you know. A lot of, you know, in the nineties, there was a lot of casting bands and people who were on stage who didn't really sing, you know, Milli Vanilli. But there was lots of, yeah. them, you know, Milli Vanilli yeah. is one example of many. Yeah. And I think I looked very plastic to the people, okay. but actually, I'm much more real than than anybody else, not anybody else, but than yeah. many, you know, yeah. because yeah. I I did it for my bed, I did it in my bedroom studio basically. I re later re-recorded uh, operatic vocals in a, in a big studio mm -hmm. because I got some studio time, but mm -hmm. still without a record company, you know. And then later I had uh, the produced track and uh, the record company just said, well, okay, that's now three years old. Maybe we, we go over it, make the drums new. And, and so, so we did that with, with Inga Humpe. Mm -hmm. But it was uh, basically, it was the arrangement was finished. So the first single that you released was it 1995? Yeah, yeah, okay. 1995. I wrote it 92, and then it took okay. me three years. And you know, people later say it's so commercial, and you said, "Well, that's not what I heard when I tried to get it to the record companies." They said, "No, sorry, this is avant-garde music. This will not, nobody will play this," you know. And uh, you hear that for many years, and then it's a number one hit. But, but yeah. you have to believe in it. You know? So the the, num the number one hit, the first single you had, is Up and Sleep With Me. Yeah, yeah that was the first single and that, that went to number one. It was like really crazy. Yeah. Wow, amazing. <laughs> number one. Um, and lyrically, because mm -hmm. I, I love lyrics, me. So when I first, I personally wouldn't have put you with those kind of lyrics in my head. But because... Anyway, I'm a bit British, aren't I? So we're a bit reserved like that. But yes. it's really, for the 90s, it's very, what's the word? It's very out there lyrically, because you've even written an album called F.U., right? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a single, yeah. yeah. Uh, as, F.U., as, I am in love. But basically, yeah. it, it doesn't, it's not negative. No. It's just like a, a, surprise, a surprise, you know, yeah. you know what the, I'm in love, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've heard I've listened to it. To, I listened to it today because I went on your YouTube channel. But um, yeah, so shut up and sleep with me is really catchy. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. I'm going to be really controversial here and speak on behalf of everyone. Really, I suppose. <laughs> Did you write it for somebody else, or was it? it no, it's, it's like a diary entry. It's like a diary <laughs> entry. I, I, oh. It was a club night, and I, I know I remember I wrote it on a Sunday, so it was just like the day after it was the stories I tell in the verses, you know, Okay. and it was what was going on in my head, but really nothing happened. I fancied somebody and I thought, you know, uh, just stop talking of that girl that I don't know, you know. Yeah, and it got to number one. <laughs> yeah, but just like a diary entry and then you, yeah, I have lots of those, but you know, there's a magic sauce and then it, then it happens, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it's not so, like 
overnight because no. it took I, it was the same song i took it for three years to everybody and people Did told you? me no it's not commercial mm. you know and then in the then you're number one and everybody says yes it's so commercial and of, of, it's an obvious hit but it's not if it's mm. not if you have never heard it before you know so if it was so new yeah so did you self-publish or promote that the first single and then yeah, I, I, I was the guy on the stage and i was the guy in the video i was the guy singing it i was the guy writing it <laughs> amazing that yeah. do you know what that's amazing well done that's yeah. brilliant and i wrote it 100 percent. you know today i see sometimes mm. there's writing credit 16 people wrote a song how does that work you know it's basically they took <laughs> one song ripped it off and then they had to they have to take the songwriters of the original song then they edit something yeah. And then maybe it's somebody from a record company is also in there. And yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sixteen people cannot write a song, really. I mean, no. the best songs are written by one or two people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, talking talking about um, shut up, shut up, and sleep with me song. Um, you've just recently. Well, we might as well say it now. You've re you've just as of the ninth on Friday. Yeah. yeah. You re-released. Well, two days ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah I re-released re re it. It was actually meant to be. Uh, so, by the way, I'm reading the um, also the comments. So I'm oh, saying yeah. hello to everybody. Oh, so hello, yeah, like, sorry. Sorry. Oh, should I would sleep with me. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he's got a proposal. I turned fifty yesterday. <laughs> thanks for keeping me young with the music. Oh. Yeah, I I continuously get twenty five. But repeatedly, okay. repeatedly get twenty five. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of greetings from Prague, um, and you've been asked, "Where, Sebastian? When are you coming? Oh, uh, where was that? Where are you? When are you? Did I Slovakia? Are you go to Slovakia? I would go anywhere if they would invite me. I just, I am. Um, uh, there was this oldies festival, and people were mentioning me, and I said I would love to come, but then the. Um, but it was all this festival and then it was also the Mexico but the organizers say they don't want to have the acts repeating you know uh, they don't because I, I've been there 2018 I think uh, well that was when we met actually yeah 2018 uh, yeah, I've, so I've, not been, was... I've not been back since there actually that's why yeah I was and I wrote you know eventually they're gonna run one out of artists because there's only so much of yeah. us active and alive you know yeah, just like yeah. If no, I remember I, I, and John and you know, there's some, some people are not there anymore. Yeah, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you um, oh. get some work uh, for sure. In fact, put it in the comments, people, if you want me to um, help and get some work because it's possible. Um, so we've got a question here from Zelenti Tilka. I think I've said it right. Ex Lentica Tilka. Do you ever have stage fright before a performance? Yes, terrible. Terrible. Oh, okay. I think like the organizers see, see me, I mean, uh, or somebody backstage saw me at all these festivals and thought, uh, is this the guy backstage? <laughs> and then he said, but as, as soon as you went on stage, it just happened, you know, it was a different person. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm terrible. It's not just before, it's um, day, like two days before, because I'm always afraid that something happens with my voice, like right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But also with the um, um, adrenaline. I wanted a performance in Sweden and I actually had the week before I had completely lost my voice. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. I thought it has to go. I, I didn't talk anymore because the doctor said I shouldn't talk. And um, mm -hmm. and then I talked very little. But once I was on stage, I could I could do the songs. So yeah. it was, was good. Yeah, yeah. But it was, um, yeah, I think the adrenaline helps also, you know. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a great feeling when you see how the people react to something that you created mm -hmm. and so you're performing and so that's that gives me the energy yeah. but also you're dependent on so many people you know um there's often stuff not not working like i i put a lot of effort in projections behind me because i studied media design mm -hmm. so i wanted to be a video director so i do all these videos myself and then you go on stage and then they're not there <laughs> for some reason but in the rehearsal they were there and then it's not there and that that can that can throw me out a little bit but i think when i do more of those i'm gonna get uh, yeah more relaxed and um, frederick has asked where are you sebastian you seem to be in a flying saucer yeah <laughs> i'm in my camper van, in his camper uh, van. I'm, I'm in croatia right now and yeah, uh good. Yeah, so outside, I actually, you know, if I look this direction, I see the water and the sea. And uh, 
Yeah, it's it's buggy. Maybe oh, well, can I turn around? No, yeah. yeah, I can't turn around the camera on this. Oh, can I turn yeah. around the camera? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, turn me turn us round. Let's yeah. have a look. Let's see. Oh no! How does it work? Wow! Oh, it's, it's too it's too bright. But but there's the water behind the tree. Is the water? Yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah, I mean that that's a car basically, and um, but behind me there's a living space and. Uh, um, I can show you. Oh, that'd be wonderful. I'd love to see it. Oh, <gasps> wow. TV. And yes, it is. My bed. And there's a little kitchen. <laughs> that yeah, is there's even, I can't turn it around because the light is in the way, but there is like a coffee machine. It's it's a very small camper van, but it's okay. it has everything. What make is it? Um, well, the the car is a, it's a Fiat, but a Fiat Ducato, mm -hmm. but uh, the camper van is from uh, Bursna. It's a Swiss company. Okay. Yeah, I think they make a very be... nice design. Like, yeah. like this behind me. This is like real, real leather. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I love it. I've been thinking of getting one myself, actually. Well, best decision of yeah. my life. Yeah. I think the Fiat Ducati then might be on on my list of things to get. Um, yeah, this on a Mercedes is the... It's amazing. Um, we've got another question. Who would you like to work with if you could choose? So, like a collaboration? Do they mean? I yeah. think. Yeah, I mean, I, I I don't think the Petro Boys know I exist, but I would love to work with them. Yeah, yeah uh, I was uh, Jimmy Somerville is great. He he could make the, the the operatic voice, you know. But I don't think these people know that I exist. But um, it's it's I I I think it's great they are still around, like the Petro Boys and Jimmy Somerville. He he still sounds amazing and uh, Erasure. I always go to the concerts. I mean, they influenced me with the lyrics. But then I have a certain kind of humor, you know. Yeah. I was influenced by um, by them, but then I have other thoughts, you know. So um, my lyrics turn out to be different. Yeah, love it, I love it. And um, Terry from Lan Terry Weather Lanzarote, we need the footage from Search for a Star. She means. Me, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I thought that when you said it. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. No, it, it's too long ago now. Um, it was. Um, I was only what 21 I think at 21 at the time I joined oh. Max when I was 23 mm. um, and I was 21 22 it was just before Max that I did this this, this show but in that's Germany more, even more interesting but but you never had a tape of it uh, what? What, sorry? Did you never have a tape of, uh, of the performance? Tape? No, tape not back, no, back your then. Tape? no mm. okay, yeah. I wonder if they did actually no I don't I don't think they did be interesting. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll check that out. And she says, hello, um, Sebastian. She's tuned in from Lanzarote. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and Frederick is asking Sebastian, you do a few few festivals, gigs. Why not more? Well, because nobody's inviting me. <laughs> but Max mm. said she's going to help me with I'm that. I'm going to help. Yeah, yeah so it's about getting the right booking agent for me. Yeah. You can probably do it but yourself. But somebody has to propose but... you. That That's the thing. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, the, it, it's, it's it's hard work because there's so many acts, especially nowadays. There's more and more acts coming out and getting back it's together. True, but, but some of them have, yeah. were not born in the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some people who are performing, yeah. it's just like okay, they have the name, but they're not yeah. really the act. But but they can so, be lovely people. So. Yeah, absolutely. Where where did you have your number ones? What what uh, um, um what in Spain, in Mexico, in Austria, Lithuania, I think. Um, uh, I know. Um, uh, Finland, yeah, so, something I probably so, forgot. Yeah. So really, they're the, they're the countries that you should that will just snap you up, really, for for yeah. shows. That we need to work on those kind of places. But um, I, think, I, I think yeah, the, the, I think the most because I've the, done the most promotion in Mexico because I've been invited um, by the record company, so they really believed in it, and you can see it where I have been. Mm -hmm. That people remember me, and then in, in Finland also, I've, I've been in the in a, yeah. Sim, similar, to, similar to Max, you know, we had number one in Finland as well. Um, but um, when's the last time you went to Mexico? Have you gigged in Mexico? In Mexico, it was uh, 2019 or 2018. So it was right. still uh, it was in the Pepsi, uh, Pepsi no, what's mm -hmm. it called, the uh, World Trade Center. Yeah. Oh wow! Okay. Very, right, okay. Very big one. It was a very big yeah. performance. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just waving back to anyone. Has anyone got any questions to ask us? To ask Sebastian? Yeah, we've got loads. Good. Yeah, Mozzie Blin. 
I think that is says shut up and sleep with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I Mark, need a picture. <laughs> yeah, he needs a picture. Don't <laughs> say that. Uh, Mark Mans F10. I turned 50 yesterday. Happy birthday to yes, you, Mark. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks for keeping me young with the music. Thank that you. Lovely. Well, you know, 50 is the new 30, probably. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Rod, uh, Rod, Rodio Nove, Anton. Hi, Anton. 99. Oh, my dog is called Anton. Who? You... My dog. My dog. Have you got your dog with you? No, no. He's oh. with my Oh, oh uh, okay. Well, uh, Anton... He's a golden doodle. Oh. Like gold, right? He's a golden doodle. Gorgeous. I love those dogs. They're like little teddy bears, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Love them, love them. Um, Anton says 90s are still alive. Thank you for the music. Yeah. Oh, have I said that? Sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. Who's that? Oh, God. Someone says they are in uh, Landau and uh, Durban. Oh, Landau. That's near yeah. where I live. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. That's that's um, Sebastian. Time has have no power on you. You seem a student from Antone. Oh, Antone. that's very. Nice. Oh, you, thank you. You've got some <laughs> lovely messages. Don't aren't they so lovely? Um, yes, Mark. Mark has said yes. Sim with Sebastian must be at the festivals. We demand it. Come on, people. Let's get him I back on the so, day. Yeah. If you, you have to propose it to the organizers to a festival near nearby, um, you know, if, if somebody yeah, you, wants you, to see me. Yeah, I think we, maybe they, they have their lists, but they. I mean, I'm, on, I'm not on the list, and they just um, book Forget the people you. who are easiest to reach. Yeah. 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 Just shut the door because I get a cold wind from the front. Just a second. Because I have this so, sore um, throat. Uh, Peter Gerald, 1977, is asking in German, Van bist to do an Esterich? In Red. Österreich, yeah. yeah. I, um, I drove through Österreich <laughs> to come here because okay. I'm in Croatia. But, um, it's really strange. I've been I've been on number one in Austria in for seven weeks, but I don't hear a lot. Maybe there was a oversaturation. That can also sometimes happen. People mm -hmm. listen to a song too often. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, strongest countries are, are Germany, Mexico, um, Czech Republic, I think, and uh, Poland and uh, Spain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In Spain, really... I was, Shut Up was just in a TV series. Really? Yeah. Oh, um, wow. We need to talk about that. Nacho. It's about a porn star. Mm -hmm. And they got <laughs> licensed uh, shut, shut Up for that. Um, wow. And okay. it was like, a, a, I mean, reenactment, mm -hmm. reenactment, but it was a real life story of that porn star, mm -hmm. Nacho. Yeah. I, I, I would love to see it. I, they gave me the script, the, the, the script where Shut Up is going to be in there. Mm -hmm. But um, I can't see it because. Um, because they don't uh, stream it in all countries, mm -hmm. you know. But it's in the it's Mexico and, and Spain and so. Wow. Amazing, amazing. Um, yeah, we need to sort this out, don't we? Really, and get you back out there. Um, Mark, Mark Mans. Yeah, thanks. Oh, thank it's you. It's fantastic that thanks you everyone. two hook up to give us a life. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, Mark said it's fantastic that you two hooked up. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, Mark, just to let you know, I'm doing this quite regular. I'm asking a lot of um, 90s artists and also, you know, just in people in the music business, um, really. So I get Max, me personally, I, I've told Sebastian this anyway, because we had a chat before we came on, yeah. that um, I'm just really getting more visible because um, we're old school, aren't we, with these techno technology yeah. things? I'm learning as well. So it's great to meet the fans. I love meet and greets. In fact, I was going to say, how near are you to Manaheim? Oh, very near. Very near. Ooh. Okay, so November, I think November the 25th, uh, Max is doing Sunshine Live. Yeah, I, I, I know call? of it. And I, uh, the organisers are thinking about it, Ooh. but I'm not sure if it, if it works out. Because I, the thing is, just before that, I'll be in the Caribbean. Ah, um, and right. I have to fly back from from there. I would I would, I would love to do that. Would that be? But it was, would it would only be one flight, mm -hmm. but it's a long flight. And okay. Yeah, I would I would love to do that. And and then you know, for Mannheim, that's just like half an hour from where I live. Yeah. Okay, so that would be cool. So if you are around in the area and you're back from the Caribbean, and um, please. Mm -hmm. If you if you're not doing the show, please come and see me. I'd like to hook up with you mm -hmm. and come. I'll get you a VIP ticket and yeah, whatever yeah. we can hang out. You can so come I'll backstage. Be and... The first first row. <laughs> the first row, absolutely, 
I'll yes. make sure of it. I'll make sure. No, of... I've, I've um, done it in, in Mexico. I I went out after I performed. Yeah. Uh, I went out to, to the people and and um, and they are usually very nice if they're not too drunk. But they yeah. they're, they're very nice and um, and then I love to see uh, also the show from the front. You know. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Also, also in Australia, I also did it. But then in the end, too many people tried to invite me for a drink. And just like it was like it was a little bit crazy, but in the beginning it was nice. I was I went there with my singer, with Jenny. Yeah. Oh, she's lovely. Jenny was she's with lovely, yeah. She's beautiful. I'm really she's comfortable great. performing with with, with Jenny. Yeah, yeah. She's gorgeous. And um, Frederick asked Sebastian, who are your best friends in the business? Um, well, Max, of course. No. <laughs> of course. I, I found it. Um, <laughs> Oh, there's lots of questions. I see them, but but you have to. You, yeah, maybe I, you can see more of them before I'll, they go. I'll, away. I'll get the questions. So, yeah. um, in the music, um, well, I'm I'm friends with Pharaoh. Yeah. Pharaoh, yeah. you remember? Yeah. Remember? So uh, when I'm when I'm driving through Munich, Munich, I I visit her. That's nice. And um, you know, I'm 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 riding with, with some people, but I wouldn't say like friendship that we hang out together or so. Mm -hmm. But I think we are all friendly. Yeah. You know, there's very little people. That we that we don't get along, and I mean, yeah, um, it's just like it's a class. It's like a class reunion. You know, when I do a festival, I, that's why I love it. Also, yeah. I mean, it's because of the fans, but also to see my colleagues. Yeah, and I'm the one who also takes autographs. You know, of of <laughs> of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so Antone said, "What about a duet, a duet with Italian singer Gianna Nannini?" It Gianna will be Nannini, explosive. yes, but Nannini. I I know her, um, but but I don't think she knows me. Okay. <laughs> but I I would definitely be open. You know, I did this duet with Mariana Rosenberg. She, she she's mm -hmm. a, a star from the seventies. Mm -hmm. um in uh, in germany she's not so so well known outside maybe in austria but um uh i i, I did a song with her and that really it was a radio hit in uh, in mexico as well even though people don't know her but mm -hmm. it was called he belongs to me and she did mm -hmm. she did that in a german lyric in uh, in germany back in the 70s um so you keep mentioning mexico quite a lot and yeah. um we are we are possibly kind of 50 percent there because we're trying to get two shows but we are going mm. mexico in october mm. max is going to mexico that's what i'm hoping I mean, i'm nice. just waiting for contract mexico stuff. fans well, are really really good Very yeah nice. so we need to have a chat after this brazil after this video we need to have a chat um, i, I do so your, Fred... your pre-group you know i <laughs> yeah, I just love to go there. Brazil, <laughs> yes. Um, so Frederick's asking. Frederick asked a lot of questions, and he asked some really controversial questions. And I love Frederick. Sebastian, do you earn a lot of money for, with Shut Up? You don't have to answer this if you don't want uh, to. By the way, I still earn money, but I wouldn't call it a lot. <laughs> I mean, I, the, the good okay. thing is that I, I earned a lot when it came out. And I didn't, how we say in Germany, I didn't throw it out of the window. <laughs> clever. So clever. Yeah. So I always knew that um, that her music career is an up and down. I didn't think it was so extreme. But, um, uh, you know, and also I I knew how to handle money before. With, with, even with 18, I had my own stocks. Um, my grandfather, he, he, uh, he taught me how to trade with stocks. So uh, basically, and also I, I don't, I don't have a thing that I like lots of cars or, you know, did, I didn't buy anything, you know. It took me maybe five years until I bought something with the money. Wow. And, right. and then, when, then it was mainly real estate and that's the best thing you can buy. Yeah. So clever. So, you're so clever. Honestly, you're so inspiring for that um, because I didn't really do that. Well, I did and I didn't. <laughs> so, but anyway. I think it's, all, all, it's always, if you're already accustomed to um, to work with money, that's, yeah. but that's okay. the thing is lots of us are so young when that happens, you know. I, I just saw, I mean, uh, the East 17 singer, it's really, really sad. So I'm, I, I, I respect him, but uh, Brian Harvey, yeah. so I have no disrespect, but um, he destroyed his gold record uh, because he said it's worth nothing, you know, and, and he's broke and, and stuff. And, and East 17 obviously had more hits than both of us. Yeah. And that's, um, it's really sad. He didn't make any money, you know, but also because it was a casting band and, uh, um, you know, the management probably gave them a very bad contract. Mm -hmm. For me, it's the good thing is I'm the writer of the mm -hmm. song. 
100%. They, they can't take away that from you. Right. So the, I will always stay the composer of Shut Up and Sleep With Me, 100%, 75 years after my death. Yay! 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 You're so inspiring. You would be really good um, as a mentor for up and coming artists, you know, I think with your skills. Mm. Um, I think, you know, um, they would learn a lot from you regarding the music business because you've lived and breathed it and you know how it works yeah. and you have a it sounds like you've got a really secure foundation you know yeah. you're chilling in your camper van and it's absolutely stunning and you're doing um you know what what you want kind of thing because what i wanted to say was you've got some other skills apart from being an artist mm. you've got some really great what i think are awesome skills yeah yeah so yeah. um yeah, I think that's something maybe I, I could teach other people as well from the, from the music industry. So uh, I'm, I made a yoga teacher training for relaxation because uh, when you produce the whole day in, this, in the studio, you get very tense, always repeating one song, trying to make it better. Yeah. So I got a tinnitus and then um, yeah. the doctor said, you should do some relaxation. So I went to yoga and I, it, it, it immediately made click for me. So... Yeah. Um, um, I went uh, first first lesson I went to into advanced yoga because it was the right time for me to go the right uh, yeah. it fit fit for my schedule um, and uh, yeah and from then then on I, uh, I I worked with singing bowls from 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 uh, Nepal so I make sound meditations you know I do that sometimes at yoga festivals and people don't know at all that I I had a hit in the nineties so I, I play that. singing bowls for them. It or is, relaxation and they relax that is right up my street with singing mm. bowls people probably don't know this about me as well but mm. you know i'm into like on my solo projects that i do i love frequencies i like four three two mm. or like five two eight and i did consider going into singing bowls but i really didn't want to carry big bowls around with That's me the and they're, heavy. <laughs> yeah and they're, they're quite expensive aren't they so I say that I do digital healing tones, mm -hmm. like digital, so yeah. what you do in the bowl. So is that why you're in Croatia at the moment? Is that what you do in yoga? Yeah, I, I just did a class for, for one week, uh, morning yoga and uh, three times uh, uh, singing bowl meditation yeah. in, the, um, in, the, in the wonderful nature and people were lying under trees. And mm -hmm. yeah, I, I always dream I could do that maybe, you know, do, do a 90s retreat with another singer together. And we do, we, we can tell, tell stories about the 90s and we can also do meditation and yoga and sports okay. and just hang out for a week and then maybe make a little concert, you know, a very, be, very small concert. Yeah. That's such a great idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got shivers. That is a great I, idea. I this vision, you know, and yeah. if some people get together and make it uh, work, you know, mm -hmm. you, you bring your fans, I bring my fans and then we... we I mean, maybe do it at a beautiful spot, you know, in Mexico or somewhere. You know. mm. Or we could start in Croatia. Is it a right. good place to go? It's Is good. It's very good. Retreats. Right now it's it's warm, but it's not as warm as I heard in England, as in England. It's not we, 30 degrees. It's we've had, we're, we're having a heat wave, yeah. which is really strange because it just started raining about... Mm. Uh, just before I hopped on this call, it was chucking like really raining, which is strange because the what the air is warm. It's very strange. And mm. um, Fredericks asked another question, Sebastian, do you miss Viva TV? I miss Viva TV oh, yeah. and this area so much. Yeah, yeah. And I thought I'm not sure if it was him. Somebody asked if if I did the Bravo show in the nineties. Uh, okay, yeah. right. Okay, no, I but that. I was I was in the audience for that when E17 and Hathaway performed. Right. I was like the only man there, but um, yeah, Viva, I I miss. I was actually, I was in the first um, episode of uh, what's it called? Mm. No, I can't remember. But um, but then they 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 called it the pilot episode, and they never aired it. So I was like, I was on there, <laughs> did the whole interview, perform, and I said, yeah, that's very good. So we're gonna make some changes. But then the next episode was the real one that they they said. Well, but I, I, I was all, uh, I, I, I was once on, on Viva um, doing an interview. It was a great time. I, 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 I don't understand why there is no more music TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is very limited. Did you ever come to UK? Like, did you ever do Top of yeah. Pops? Or... Uh, did uh, you? Not... Yeah, but I did the radio show. Was it, was it BB, BBC or Radio 1 or, or something? The radio show which, which tours around in the summer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not sure. It was... Um... Uh 
Oh, yeah, uh, Radio 1 Roadshow. Yeah, the Roadshow. Did you yeah. do that? Yeah, I did that, yeah. Oh, OK, right. Oh, well, yeah, it's Mark Manns. He asked, did any of you, of you appear on the Bravo show in Germany? Yeah, we did. I think we did, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't I don't think I did, but then it's all a blur, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it oh, was, my it God. Was crazy times. I, I wished I could go back and enjoy it more, but basically somebody <laughs> just told you, travel there, travel there, travel there, and then they just... Yeah. I wish I would have known more about the shows yeah. and the people and stuff, yeah, but they just push you in. I know yeah. I rehearsed or I rehearsed eight times for Italian TV. Eight wow. times I did the same song. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, I think the first rehearsals nobody really watched. But <laughs> There's still yeah. more people joining. Thank you to everyone for being here. We really appreciate you. It's amazing. Um, so just going back to the song. So Shut Up was the first song, 1995. <laughs> And then 96, was it Golden, Golden Boy 96? Boy, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So we worked then on the album and, uh, and the second single. And um, for me, it was difficult to work on the album because I was traveling still with Shut Up because Shut Up uh, had a lifespan of two years for, for different countries, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. It, it first happened in Austria, then later in Germany, and then uh, Spain and Mexico and Finland. So I traveled for two years. Yeah. But at the same time, I had to record the album um and uh yeah so i i did golden boy and it um um it was supposed to be the third single with marianne rosenberg uh, he he belongs to me oh, oh. Wow, and okay. um but i wasn't as present then in the end for the album tracks that uh, as i as i wished so you know they they kind of finished them in the studio but not not completely my vision not like with the mm -hmm. you know i couldn't give them the hints that that, that i wanted to yeah. and the thing also was they they uh, in germany at least they released um golden boy on the album first so that killed a little bit the single for me yeah. so okay. they they put out the album because the record company makes more money with albums yeah and um and then the fans said oh that's that's great you know i have everything now and then the single sort of like mm -hmm. didn't do as well uh, but it went up to number three so oh, wow but wow. didn't sell, sell as well as shut up and sleep with me but but so, it was the fault that it was on the album. I mean, that's normally yeah. not how you do it. No, 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 no. So, so looking back, was would you say it was the record company? It wasn't a great record company for you, maybe. No, they, well, they were a great co record company for one singles. They they have a track record for um, for one singles things yeah. where, they, where they put all the power behind, yeah. and then they move on. Ah. Because they they say to sustain a career is is more expensive. You know, yeah. to build an artist is more expensive. Yeah. So they, they just take um, great ideas for, and then put them out and then take another great idea. They, they're they not really interested in uh, in sustaining an artist. Yeah. And that, that's really, I think, not very responsible for, for, for you know, with a young person. Yeah. I don't know what, what they thought. You know, if I wouldn't have been that clever <laughs> with my money, you know, it could have been very sad, you know. And there is sad examples, you know, like with, with East 17. Um, Clark Kent um, said, I always wondered why Golden Boy wasn't as big a hit like Shut Up, Now I Get It, mm. you've explained, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, makes sense, doesn't it, now? So album-wise, so how many So how many singles um, did there, you do, and how many There was only you? two released in Germany and three in Mexico. Oh, okay, three so, singles. Yeah, they, Mex yeah Mexico, they... Um, I mean, from that album with the original record company. And now, and now later, I, I released more. Okay. But um, I had to wait uh, for years until my, my contract ran out, you know, because they, they were not very nice. Uh, they could have said, well, we are not continuing with you, so we let you go. But then I would have gone to another record company yeah. and I would have built on the success that I had and I didn't want that. So oh. they kept me as long as they good two years awful, awful. in the record company yeah. and then i went to another con uh, company and then they said yeah but that's kind of like old news now shut up and sleep with me. Well, two years ago nobody remembers so yeah. Yeah. if they would know that 28 years later people still remember you know yeah. because there's lots of music people don't remember yeah. yeah would you would you ever it's just coming in my head to ask you this question would yeah. you ever get like a remix like would you get like a, a famous dj because you see what's happening with um, Labouche at the moment, yeah. Lane. Um, yeah. Dave Guetta has remixed um, yeah, but Be then, My Lover. Would you ever do that? I think he's 
not on there. That Lane is not on there. I mean, that's... no, it's the vocals of Melanie. Yeah, so yeah. Well, it's still Labouche, isn't it? So yeah, yeah it's I still wondered, Labouche, But um, would, would you ever? Of course, be I would. I would love that. But we just mm -hmm. re released uh, "Shut Up and Sleep with Me" with a new version. Yeah. Um, I always, you know, when when Lady Gaga was still more active, I would have thought it would have been a great combination. Yeah. Um, yeah. Of course, David Guetta, you know, I I, I would love it. Or um, what's he called? Um, uh, it's a famous DJ, uh, Purple. Uh, Purple. There's um, <laughs> there's Tiesto and there's the other guy, um, uh, Armin Buren. Oh, Armin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're great guys. I mean, Tiesto Buren. just did. Um, um, Barbie, uh, Barbie girl. I, I'm a Barbie girl. Was it, was it because the movie is coming out soon. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks amazing, doesn't it? That yeah, the cover, so cool. cover is great. And, yeah. Um, but of course, it's. I think it's always hard um, if you have a connection to the original than with the remix. You know. Yeah. There is some yeah. great remix. I I, I like the um, from, from La Bouche the remix. I I do like that one. It's great. It's, it's such a great track. I think they've called it Hyperton or something. Yeah. It's really great. Back in the night, um, the radios they, they did uh, "Shut Up and Sleep with Me" and "Be My Lover," um, um, a mix which went together. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, you said you would like that to happen. No, is it, that what you say? It happened for the radio. Oh, it they happened. Did that. Yeah, yeah. They, they 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 did it, but it was when when it came out. So they just, I didn't did a mix. That. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So, the third single was "Light Light by the End of the Tunnel." Is that correct? The, uh, the no, this, there was just a single now before the "Shut Up" um, um, anniversary mix. Just now. Uh, it was well the last single before the last single. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But in total, you've had three singles. No, I, well, I had. Um, you've done loads. Well, I can't say the F word, right? No, F you, yeah. I am in love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't go away. Uh, it, uh, that was from the album. I, I re recorded that song in a better version, I think. Okay. Um, the Boys and Girls. I did the blur, blur cover. Okay. I, I really liked it myself. I like to play that live because it makes. Yep. It fits the 90s, and but still sounds like Sinu Sebastian because I put your opera vocal on uh, in there. Love it, love right. it, love it, love it. And um, then um, album-wise, what did you do? Album, album? I did um, two EPs after that. It was like maybe 2007 uh, called Punk Pop. Because yeah, so that, that, I thought that's what I what I did, punk pop. And I also re-released, um, re re yeah. released, not re-released, um, an album called Unreleased. So it was all my demos that I did in the 90s and presented to the record company for the next album. And they said no to all, everything. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I re released all the songs that they said no to. <laughs> oh, good for you. Good for you. I just I just love your style. I just love that you, you know, mentally and emotionally, you don't care. You just do what you want to do. Yeah. And, and, you know, all, all credit to you. That's probably why you're not gigging as much. I'm not being... Um, controversial here i'm just saying you know that sometimes it kind of works like that if you're not if you're not going to play their game they're probably thinking what's in it for me so you know all hats to stay in in integrity of yeah. who you are and i just think it's yeah. amazing and um, what advice would you um give to aspiring artists so, or singers sort of, or... somebody wrote purple dance machine that, that that's right ah. he would be great for a remix yeah oh yeah purple. so uh, advance to us to aspiring artists yeah uh, um i uh i mean it's not easy it's, it has never been easy and it's mm -hmm. not gotten easier i mean it, it everything changed with the digital i mean you can put out a song mm -hmm. but for spotify there is sixty thousand new songs every day so nobody basically cares if you put out a song mm -hmm. i mean if i put something out with my singing bolt i don't make advertisement for it um, and then you see what happens if you don't advertise it, but basically nothing happens. A hundred people listen to it. Mm -hmm. and um, But that's okay because I just put it out there. When people ask me, uh, can I hear your music? I say, well, it's on Spotify and this name, Deva Sangeet, and then um, they can find it. So I'm, it's not commercial in that sense. Mm -hmm. um, but um, of course you can do everything on your, cell, on your computer now. You can put out a song, you can make the pictures, you can make the video, but nothing happened with it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You, you also know how difficult it is, even, you know, even yeah. if you had a hit, so it's, it's yeah. not easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's spinning a lot of plates. Yeah. Spinning a lot of plates, there's a lot to do. Uh, Mar uh, Clark Kent's asked, was your du duet with Marion Rosenberg fun or was she some kind of diva? 
<laughs> I, I think she is known to be a little bit of a diva. Okay. But uh, <laughs> it was fun to meet her, and uh, we got along fine. You know, she I, I wrote my lyrics, and uh, she, she she had a friend um, who, who wrote her because she doesn't speak English so well. So okay. somebody else wrote her, a friend of her wrote, wrote the English uh, part of her her part. Um, and somebody complimented me on my English, but I, actually I'm, I'm struggling because I have a cold right now, so oh, I have to, need to get a drink. I not to sneeze. <laughs> oh, bless you. Do you, need, do you need a minute? Do you need to get a drink or anything? Uh, yeah, maybe I get out of the picture for a second. Okay, lovely. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you speak very good English, yeah. Um, Morgan's asking, what's your favourite Mac song? Of course, Morgan, you would ask that. <laughs> <laughs> Be my good friend. So, yeah. Oh. Um, I, I I I had the Mac single, the the green one. Oh. I, I uh, you were you were before me, right? I mean, you were ninety ninety two or ninety three. Um, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five. Yeah. Were. So you were, yeah, you were actually, I, I mean, already active mm. when I wrote "Shut Up." So, ah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I, that would have been the time that I was studying media design. Okay. And I was in my little student uh, flat. Um, and I came home and I wrote a song. So then I already had your uh, uh, your single, I think it was, yeah. Okay. Did you have Getaway or yeah, No but, More? No, it, um, it was First one, Getaway. It both, both of them. But I mean, I remember both of them very fondly, you know. I, I loved the sound. And of mm -hmm. course, the, it was a little bit, for me, it was a little bit also the sound of Two Unlimited. I mean, yeah. this like really tight and hard. Yeah. But still, yeah. still a, a melodic, yeah. 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 Um, we've got another question. I think it's Annalise um, Bromulo. Send a kiss to my daughter, Esther. I hope I said that right. She is your fan. Oh. I think she means you. <laughs> I'll send a kiss anyway. Send a That's kiss nice. to her daughter, Esther. Hello, Esther. Hello, Would you Esther. like Sebastian? I will go kiss. Oh, um, so wow, people are still joining. Thanks everyone for joining. This is amazing here live with Sebastian, who's in Croatia at the moment. Yes. Um, I want to know more about these singing bowls because I'm really into things like that. And yoga, what kind of yoga did you train in? It's, you a very, it's Shivananda yoga, very classical Hatha yoga. Ah, okay. So it's the, it's the original yoga um, that, that came over in, in the 60s to the United States from India. Um, Love it. Very Love it. Classic. And also it, it incorporates meditation and uh, lots of relaxation. So there's, you do a little bit of yoga and then re you relax. So the, uh, the oxygen can go also to the muscles. I, I'm not such a big fan of power yoga. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm always looking also for the relaxation. So if we, if we do a workshop or something, the people can also, I think you don't have to be too fit yeah. to do it. But it keeps you fit, you know. If some people compliment me on my looks, I, I would say it's also the yoga and the singing bowls yeah. and uh, healthy eating and drinking a lot. Do you do yoga every day? Do you practice yoga and meditation every day? Um, well, last year, last week I did because I was teaching it. Um, and otherwise, I would say maybe three three times a week. Okay, so you, you actually teach yoga as well, uh, do you? you um, no, well. Okay. Not only in a retreat. retreat, not not because I'm not at one place that I can can commit to. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not. I mean, I'm living somewhere, but I'm never there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Hello. So I will do. Frederick says. So I will do yoga. So you're inspiring others to do yoga. Yeah. <laughs> um, the best the thing, thing do you do any energy practice? Oh. Uh, other practice than the ones you've been mentioned. Can you see other comments in the I do? But but no. maybe it's different. Okay. I think um, Seems different ones to me. It's That's good right. though. It's Morgan Energy Energy Coach. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi. Uh, no, uh, I do yoga, meditation, and sound healing, okay. and, and general fitness, basically. How, how many um, singing bowls do you have? Um, it's a set of eight, Ooh. but for traveling, I take uh, four big ones and then lots of small ones because it gets too heavy, even for the camper van. I yeah. have to open the door. I'm sweating. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah so. I, I've actually got a fan on here. I've got a fan. Um, so Clark Kent saying, did you ever consider taking part in Eurovision in the 90s or maybe even now? Um, we, you know, we, we got last place 
La Germany last time, even without me taking place. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's, I mean, it's very hard. I think on the people they are getting hyped for for months and weeks, mm -hmm. and then then it doesn't do well, and they're being dropped, and nobody touches them anymore. I think it's very unfair yeah. because I they, often it's just politics. I mean, I think I'm not. I I'm not just. Uh, maybe I wasn't such a fan of the song. But it, it didn't deserve last place, so so yeah. I, I maybe I would have done uh, when I when I'm younger. But now that I see what's happening with the politics, people are voting for the voting for their neighbor countries yeah. always. Yeah, it's just like nah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's political, isn't it? Um. So um, what's next, and where can people find you? Well, they can find can find me on Instagram, but then probably they can see that now already. Or... Mm -hmm. Um, on Facebook, uh, the YouTube channel is doing well. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's surprising, yeah. Um, I just got YouTube partner because I have so many um, enough plays or enough hours, watch hours and, uh, and followers. So, so that's nice. So theoretically, I could make longer videos and make money with it because I'm a YouTube partner. But maybe yeah. I should do a YouTube live. I'm not sure. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah that would be the people amazing. Say where, where they want to see it because there's Instagram live, Facebook live, YouTube live. Mm. Maybe I need more, more phones and I can do all, everything in one go. <laughs> then I also have to read the comments. And... Yeah, so you could have like Instagram live on your phone, YouTube. Yeah, or and another go, phone. Go, I answer a question there, there, there. Yeah, but that that comes back. I always think there's maybe not enough people watching then, but. I, it could also be like the time zones. I don't know what time it is in Mexico, for example, or in well, Peru, or in Chile, or in Brazil. Um, well, I know I know that um, like Florida, for example, um, is like five hours behind UK. So mm. are you are you an hour ahead of me now? Yeah, um, now, uh, yeah, yeah. Now it's almost six. Yeah, yeah. so I I think um, the four five five hours behind okay. behind. Well, on a Sunday, that's that's doable. They could have their lunch. Yeah. While they watch yeah that, that's why i've been doing sundays so yeah, um i had this idea just to stop the, originally this idea was to introduce my my rapper the max rapper yeah. he's been with yeah. me for five years wow. and, and also i know he's called twitch and yeah. i've never really done much publicity for him and then people were saying to me um even um booking agent not booking agents but you know um events organizers mm. like who are you because <laughs> i look <laughs> I look so different from the 90s. Yeah. They're like, who's Elise? Who's Linda Meek? We're confused. Yeah. So I just thought this would be a really great way for me to explain and get to yeah. know you, you guys and meet you because I've not seen you for like four years or more, 2018. Yeah. Um, and, you know, just promote us yeah. both. In, in, yeah, in I would love to do that, yes. Yeah, yeah it's Thanks. so good. Um, in Cape, oh God, in Cape Town, it's seventeen fifty-eight. But then, that, but then that's the same time as here. Ah, oh wow, oh, that's good. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm okay. Be in um, no, I forgot now. It's not not in South Africa, Namibia. I, I've been in September in Namibia, but I'm not sure. I mean, it's ten hours flight, but I'm not sure. Where where's that? Is that sorry, Namibia. I mean, it's near to South Africa. Okay. I'm very, very uh, bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You get, you get to travel a lot, really, don't I, you? I, I, I do, do because otherwise I get bored, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, wow, you so good. Of I mean, all the places yeah. I travel to just for fun, I could also perform, you know. Yeah. That would be I know. Good. Yeah. I know that would be amazing. That yeah. So we need but to. But I basically, I'm, I'm, I'm basically retired. Not completely, but I'm living. I'm since I'm, I don't know, in mid twenties, I'm retired. I love it. But I'm enjoying it, so. Wow, so clever. Honestly, you, you just like, hat off to you. You're amazing, absolutely amazing. And I wanted to, I know that me and you have WhatsApped and we've spoke the mm. odd time and you've always been very kind and pleasant and you've got a big heart. And I wanted to, I wanted to share you. It was, it was such, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like it was so bad that you weren't at, that you weren't doing this today and i'm so pleased so thank you so much for sure. doing this for me today thank and, you very much I mean, it's, it's fun you you're, you did the first uh, instagram live yeah i did the first with you however you want to see it but yes <laughs> and you will do lots more and maybe you'll do your own or whatever yeah or let's see people. If, if people want it i would definitely do it yeah and uh, yeah also it's 
good idea maybe sometimes with Miss Jenny. She she lives in with my singer, the opera singer. Yeah. She lives in Hamburg. Um but um yeah. Yeah, so you, you could introduce her to the fans. Yeah. And, and then by that then then they'll get to know who you are, what you do yeah. and that's how it kind of works, doesn't it? We've got a you know, this is a new way. This is a new system. You know, everybody. Yeah. Thinks, yeah, the, the even, even I think the people, if, if if people are not watching now because they maybe forgot, or so I mean, they can watch in a rerun. So it's also good. You know. Yes. It's it's being like preserved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Morgan's saying it's nice to get to know you more, Sebastian. Mm. Thank She's you, Morgan. Both for doing this. So you're very, or Morgan, very Morgan. I'm not sure how to say it. Morgan or Morgan. Yeah, Morgan. Energy coach. Morgan. Thank you so much, Elise. And Martin, you are so nice. Yeah. I know who Mark is. I know how he said South African now, so I know who it is. So, um, yeah, I will. Um, we'll be doing the replay. We'll go on my page. I'll connect you. I'll put all your details where mm -hmm. people can get you Instagram, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, um, TikTok. Are you yeah. on TikTok? I'm on TikTok. Not very successful with TikTok. No. I don't know how it works, but I'm on there. Yes, I yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I um, think I sent you the links, right? I'm yeah, I've got all the link so i'm going to set that all up um and where can people buy the 25 anniversary song um, of Shut Up? like every everywhere spotify apple music itunes store amazon youtube music mm -hmm. it's also if you if you don't want to spend any money it's all on youtube but they probably have just like the cover mm -hmm. on there so it's it's everywhere it's just not it's not physical because i mean that that takes too much money but, are you going to are you going to be writing any new new stuff for you? Yeah, I have, lots, I have lots of ideas, and um, mm -hmm. um, let's see. I mean, I'm not sure if I should bring. I, I would I would love to do first maybe a new version of Golden Boy for me to perform also. What was that? What Golden song? Boy. Golden Boy, sorry, it, yeah. Like a, a, a mm -hmm. fresher fresher version. Oh, okay. That um, I I think uh, that would be good, and um, but but after that, probably going to be new songs and maybe some songs from the album which i thought they didn't get the love the love they deserved love like birthday baby for example is on my list mm -hmm. um baby, I, 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 I i did a video for my song uh, for my um, for my uh, dog anton mm -hmm. um and i put birthday baby uh, under it and uh, i it made me dance to my own song and so, like, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't sound it. perfect it sounds a bit dated but i love the melody yeah, yeah. I love it. Oh, I love it. It's just so it's so lovely to speak to you. I love, I love, I love doing this, and yeah, I love speaking to other artists. And I learn so much yeah. about myself. I learn so much about you and all the hit songs that you've had. And it's just such a great positive thing that we're doing. So thank you very much. Yeah, it's yeah. Awesome. I, I, I it's love that you are doing this. Yeah. yeah. Just like today, I, for the people who don't know, I have to say I have, I have a cold, so I have to hold it back, yeah. not to cough. So that's. Um, and my nose is closed so it's not perfect but uh you know i mean it's not no reason to cancel but uh, yeah. just so people know my voice is not like normal do you um do you take vitamin c at all or yeah or yeah I, I do yeah. it's it's like on the camping here like uh, every person is is sniffing because it's uh, very warm sometimes and then and then the wind comes up and then then, then you get a uh, cold yeah yeah um when i when i met you and and looking at you now you're a really fit guy i know you do yoga you do sound bowls and stuff and um, what do you eat healthy i guess that you do yeah you eat I, healthy? I do and i do um uh, intermittent fasting yeah so um, my last meal is at um so i start at seven here and then uh, finish by eight and then um i i eat at 12 o'clock in the afternoon again so no breakfast yeah. So it's 14 hours, and mm -hmm. I think it's 14. I think it's a small, I have to, I'm bad, very bad at math. It's a small yeah. form of intermittent fasting. Yeah. But uh, maybe I want to get to one meal a day, it depends. But I get very shaky in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I can I can do like maybe three o'clock or four o'clock, but then I get a bit shaky. So, do, you, do, you, do you drink coffee or do you drink alcohol? Uh, only only uh, espresso yeah. after, the, after uh, the afternoon meal, yeah. Wow. So, I think that's uh, the way because it. in the yoga you you're not supposed to drink coffee no. at all. Yeah. And um, when I did the yoga teacher training, I went to an ashram and we were there for one month, so all mm. the time. And uh, people, and it's vegetarian, and uh, people were getting off smoking, so they had, they had problems because <laughs> they couldn't smoke, they couldn't drink coffee, they didn't, oh didn't get any meat, and uh, didn't get any sleep either. <laughs> What? <laughs> get up at that, four in the morning. That, 
those ashrams, I've said it right, are hardcore. You can't hardcore speak thing, to anyone. Can but you? It, it changes you yeah. as a human being. That's, that's why mm -hmm. I think it's better to do it in one month completely. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are in the ashram sleeping with other people and in, in, a, in a dorm. And, yeah. um, and, uh, and then uh, so, uh, some people say it's better to do it over two years. But then you're still with your family and your habits and you're eating unhealthy maybe. But um, mm -hmm. I, I, I like I like the transforming way more. I love it. I'm, I'm so we're on the right page. We're on the same page on a lot of things like mental and mm. and um, health and emotional. And I just love it. And yeah. physical. I just wish, you know, um, I used to do a lot of running when I was younger and I tried it recently. I'm just it's not for me. I, I need something softer. Yeah, yeah, running um, is not for my knees. I not not right. good my knees. Yeah. So. Yeah, but no, yoga would be awesome. I'd love to do yoga. There's just not any, I should do it here at home, but yeah, you're inspiring I me just anyway. So saw a friend of mine came on, Nicole. Oh, hey. hi, Nicole. Uh, hello to Etienne. She oh, has a hi. son called Etienne. <laughs> Nicole, oh, hi, lovely. Not lovely. So, has anyone got any more questions for Sebastian? <laughs> 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 it's so much good. better lighting than me next time out, but i'm you know i'm on the camper van at home i could have flooded the place i um <laughs> you're, well, you're, you're really beaming with light it's yeah nice. i've got um, a ring light yeah, yeah. Oh, i have look, a very look. tiny i have a camping light basically but now ah, so you can get the ones that clip onto your phone oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah but, but i think that that wouldn't do better than this small one but okay. uh yeah 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 Hi, my friend Sebastian. Yay, wow. hello, Nicole. Yay. So someone says, I'm thinking, Liège72 she's says that she moved. Thinking, maybe she's thinking of a question. Maybe it's me. Or, 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 or she's singing. But... Yeah, <laughs> are you thinking of a question? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this is this is the most, actually, there's 14 people on. I think there's more than this, but it comes up at the top. So 14, Yeah, it goes up and more. down. Mm, yeah. yeah, this is the most we've had on. So when are you not in your van? Where are you living? I, asking. I live um, near Heidelberg. Maybe you know that in southern Germany. So I, I, I have lived in uh, Stuttgart and in Hamburg and in Berlin and mm -hmm. Berlin for the last 10 years. And then uh, now my parents are older. So I, I went back to where I was born in Neustadt and the Weinstraße. Okay. But I'm never there. But I theory, theory, theoretically live there. <laughs> Oh, because uh, it, uh, when everything is good with my parents, I travel around. So. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, when are you? Um, so just that I have so many memories from your top song. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, that's lovely. You. Yeah. Um, my questions won't go up. That yeah, is so cool. Sometimes people write write me what what happened when uh, when they heard "Shut Up and Sleep with Me" for the first time. It's really, it's really nice. Oh my nose! Oh yeah, I have to blow my oh, nose again. Oh yeah, do your nose again. Um, do um, do you often come to France? So, do you often come to France? Do you mean Frederick? Do you mean like for gig wise? Does he come to France? When's the last time you're in France? Because it's nearby, right? Uh, France. Um, yeah, um, France. Well, I've just been with a ship. I've been just been to Marseille. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I stayed in Marseille and I've been to Aix en Provence mm -hmm. and and another place. I can't remember. But then, yeah, I was um, I was boarding a ship there in Marseille. Mm -hmm. it's, I love France, but where I live, it's only uh, 45 minutes from Strasbourg. So it's, uh, theoretically, I could be every day in France. And, <laughs> and do you remember when you performed at the Maidem in Cannes? Did you do Maidem? I, yeah, I did that. Yeah. It was, I, I, you know, people remember maybe the things on stage, but I remember the things that happened afterwards because we went eating uh, oysters and um, my my live singer back then she didn't eat oysters so we all ordered all the oysters and the people didn't eat them and i ate all of them and it's i don't know it had some effect okay <laughs> you know? yes right it was yeah. a, a, a nice memory that, that <laughs> but, happened, but that afterwards happened to the me. record company called my manager and they said what what did, because the bill was a little bit high there was too many oysters. Oh, right, because <laughs> that happened to me in Max. I remember there was a, a massive, massive plate of oysters mm -hmm. and they got sent down to everybody at the table, a really long table. It was all the crew and everything. I think it was after the, we did the music video in Marseille mm. and it got to me and I looked at it and I went like that and I was like, 
So we have to pass it all the way back. But it was very common. That was very common then. So if that happened to you as well, so yeah, yeah, because they're not cheap. Yeah, I love it. I I love it. I love oysters. So yeah, I sometimes I'm on the Atlantic coast in France. Yeah, like near Bordeaux, and and it's just nice to be near near the water and eating oysters. Wow. So, uh, I did, I, I've heard that they can affect you, but yeah, yes. did it affect you? Like, Maybe it, it affects affect men more than women. Right? Really? Okay. All Somebody right. asked okay. if I was 90s wagon, something in Sweden. I'm not sure. I was I was at the ship, a ship between um, Sweden and Finland, and like where people are drinking all night, and you have 90s acts for two days, and then there's, there's lots of people going on. Uh, uh, artists performing the whole day and night so i was on that that was crazy i i, I like that and I, I love that i performed maybe at 12 12 o'clock in the afternoon but it, it didn't matter because everything was dark anyway you know so yeah, yeah. and people didn't get any sleep so it didn't feel like 12 12 o'clock in the afternoon so yeah what? do you wow. experience any homophobic backlash in the ninth music industry because i think your majority was very revolutionary mm -hmm. uh i i think I mean, maybe that's my perception. That it depends on the people who who book. Really, mm -hmm. um, I think it could be turning around now because mm -hmm. um, people like to uh, to be more inclusive. You know, have all the colors of the rainbow in their festival. So maybe that that could be good now. Um, with some, I think they, maybe they they you know it's 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 all human beings. Every human being is different. If somebody does the book booking, who has a problem with it, then uh, they're not book, gonna book me. You know? Yeah. But I think that it try, times change. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, some sometimes I get this. You know, basically you only have you know one or two songs. Was it? But that's true for many artists of the nineties. That they, everybody has a famous yeah. song. You know, yeah, and true. I know I I really love love. For example, uh, Wickfield. I'm friends with Wickfield. Mm -hmm. But of course, if you ask the people on the street, Wickfield, name me five songs. But is they gonna say Saturday night? Uh, you know, Saturday, Saturday, what's it called? Saturday night. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's a button was another one after that. And she, I know she has lots of songs. She's a great songwriter, mm -hmm. and she has lots of albums. But there's always gonna be um, songs who are most remembered, you know, like Hathaway, you know, What Is Love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you if you ask my mother, then name me five songs of Hathaway. She's not gonna be able, even though he yeah. has lots of albums, you know. Yeah, yeah. He's a great yeah. artist. I'm not dissing him or anything, but. Um, there's always going to be these standout songs, mm -hmm. and that's what want people what people want to hear at the festival. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm not going to play the album tracks. <laughs> yeah. I would play probably, um, and I did play "Shut Up and Sleep with Me," "Golden Boy," and "Boys and Girls," mm -hmm. and and a song that not people people may not um, know so much is called um, "That's All." I'm not satisfied, mm -hmm. that, but that does well as an encore, you know. Okay. Um, because it has this instant i mean even if they haven't heard it they can sing it so uh, there's a video for it also i did it in new york city new york city yeah wow we we've got we me and you've got some similarities in in terms of what you were saying like we've like one or two singles and albums and stuff and we're in a very similar situation that's yeah. why yeah I, I think for max we we've got like five shows this year mm. you know it's not but, a lot of it seems for me it seems i mean this is uh, five more shows than I have. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, I, but, this is just the I, first half. Yeah. Totally. I, I always right. think you have a lot, even a lot of more, more because then you you you, you see stuff and. Uh, oh, I'm I, really yeah, promoting. Yeah, I go back into the archive and I'm promoting and I'm doing this and stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm always making us more visible because I'm like, how do we get more work? You know, the right work as well, and it's working with the right people, isn't it? So, yeah. uh, we're going to get there. I just I feel really good about it. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Um, well, somebody's called uh, the hits of Hathaway. What is love? Life rock my heart. I miss you. Just for, I lost. Hmm? I'm not sure, but um, yeah, yeah. But there's always going to be some more famous, and, and it also depends on the countries, you know. I remember Life, which came after What Is Love, but yeah, oh, you know, yeah. all the all the artists have more songs, but it's um, it's what people are going for, you know. It's yeah. always going to be the the one or two outstanding hits. Yeah. I, I think um, I think there is room though for for you 
to be on the circuit, what I call mm. the circuit in yeah. the festivals. I think the room is. I would love to do it. Yeah, I would love to. We need to sort that out. I'll help you with that. Um, okay. The eight is is the best. I agree. I, the eight is I agree because that, that's that's when I made the decision um, to 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 make music. I mean, that's my inspiration comes from the eighties. I mean, I was famous or you know mm. a little bit famous in the nineties, but I come from the eighties basically. Mm. I mean, I, I my first time in a discotheque was in the eighties. Do you remember Sc Scotch, like this Italo disco, disco band Scotch? Yeah. They had this coughing in the beginning, and it was a sample, you know. And it was for me, it was like a revolution, you know? like a cough. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the, you then they came this bass and the bass drum. I love that. Very love simple. It. I was inspired by that. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I think um, yeah. maybe un, un, uh, unconsciously, you know. This the the, uh, the beginning of shut up dip 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 could have come from from that sample you know because I love I love this kind of start you know. Yeah. I love <laughs> it. I love it. Disco band. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, Scott, 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 yeah. yeah. Disco band. Yeah, wow. it was also great. Yeah. Yeah. And then and of course the nineties. Yeah, we can't forget the nineties and. Yeah. Yeah. The nineties mm. was so great because um, there were there were still bands who who could make music. Mm -hmm. But the, then the technology came in, the, the samplers and the synthesizers, and it got uh, the, the production was very exciting. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but people still could do music. Today I'm a bit frustrated. It's just like people who can't do anything. They can't have a song structure. They just put uh, sample loops together, and lots of cover versions and lots of uh, parts of '90s songs. Yeah. But then they make them worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh this is so good so um it won't scroll down for them oh what's your favorite artist from the 80s more uh... um eurythmics i mean sweet dreams i just love mm -hmm. and there's lots of i mean the mode mode yep. and razor were already active in the 80s mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i loved craft work but i was never allowed to go to a concert because i was too small but okay. like the, mo the model is still from the uh, from the eighties. Mm -hmm. She is a model, yeah. and she's looking looking good. Uh, no, it's that... to do a cover, but it's so perfect. It's uh, yeah. Hey. Right now, I can't can't even sing. But could you? Um, are you in a position where you could take a sample of another song and mix it with something of yours? Obviously, you'd have to pay royalties on that one. Yeah, I, I could. Yeah, sure. Mm. Yeah. Morgan <laughs> said, "Could you say <laughs> Italo disc?" Go is kind of the father of Euro dance. I've never thought of that. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is because uh, the eighties. Um, well, the nineties came after the eighties, and and Italo disco was in Germany was very strong. Yeah. It's it's it's. I think it's an evolution, but adding samples because in the eighties there were almost no samplers. Okay. Sure. Um, Mr. Picasanova. Ooh, what a name. <laughs> I love I love your music, then with Sebastian. Thank you very much. Oh, lovely. Aww. Yeah, Eurythmics, King and Queen of America. Yeah, I mean, lots. Of the, Eurythmics are one of these bands that has lots, lots of songs. Uh, love them. Yeah. Sorry, you're just getting loads of kisses blown at us. Um, mm. sorry from yeah. um, someone got to leave and kisses and hugs. Music dance is my favorite. Was your female opera backup singer the real singer in the video, or just a model? Hmm. So the, I have lots of singers, mm -hmm. and there was like the first "Shut Up and Sleep with Me" was my um, was my after school teacher for English, and then with Golden Boy, I already moved to London, so I recorded Golden Boy in um, in my what do you call it? Is it called a bed sit? I mean, like a, a small room yeah, in a flat yeah. with somebody else. And, you know, I yeah. couldn't fly back. I mean, it was not. Uh, I was. Um, um, uh, I didn't have the money. I was working in the theater, so I, I recorded with a local singer, and then I moved to uh, um, I move from then to Hamburg, mm -hmm. and I worked with another singer. So the opera vo vocal is always not always different, but it's it's mm -hmm. different. It was already on the second single. It was different, mm -hmm. but it's an expression. I I always think the uh, some people think it's me, you know, but I wish it was me. But I always sing sing the um, opera. It's always there's always a version where I sing it because it's the sound of my my soul basically. It's the melodramatic part. It's the emotional part, and the cool part that I can I can sing on myself um, uh, by myself. Mm -hmm, mm 
Um, we've had a big question from Tape Hits. The question to both of you, do you meet with your colleagues for a, for example, a barbecue or just a coffee at set the stage? Thanks for your answers yeah, in advance. Well, tape Hits is a good friend, always, always <laughs> posting stuff. Thank you very much. Nice. And um, um, no, no, I, but you, you know, like I, I contacted you when I came to England with my, my cameraman, but it wasn't a good time because you were moving. But I would yeah. have met you. Yes. And um, I, I meet Faro when I'm driving through um, to Munich. And um, if, if I would be, I'm not sure where, where Lane lives, but he lives nearby. Mm -hmm. This is Lautern also. So if I would, would be there, I, I, I would ask if it's a good time. But then he's also traveling. Yeah. But it, it doesn't, I mean, we don't live next to each other in a 90s city. No, 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 no yeah. <laughs> that would be great, right? When, when, when we are uh, like an old uh, old age uh, home, just 90s artists. <laughs> yeah. So someone's asking Farrow. Yes, you mean Farrow, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Is it I apologize for my voice because I have a cold, oh. so I'm, I'm fighting, oh. fighting with this, so yeah. Yeah, Farrow's pretty cool. Um, in fact, I want to um, hook up with her um, because she's in Germany. I'm in I'm in Manchester, UK. Mm -hmm. So you know, I I speak to people on WhatsApp really yeah. um, as much as I can. Um, I uh, for me, um, I met up recently a few months ago with Vicky Waters from Capella. Mm. Um, she doesn't live too far from me, so yeah. we both live Manchester way. So um, yeah, so we met up and we went for a nice meal That's, and yeah. we went we went to a, a, a clothes shop. And we looked at clothes, yeah. uh, and that was nice. So yeah, that that's it. But yeah, we we are quite close, aren't we? As a nineties kind of great when you meet at a, at a festival. I mean, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's fun, and we do selfies and stuff. But then the next day, of course, everybody's traveling some other place. But yeah, it's like a class reunion, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, we're in Ireland in two weeks. Actually, we're doing the biggest disco. Um, and she's going to be good. You, you, um, so tell me then, um, with regards to your songs in UK, what did it get to in the charts? And stuff? Only, only 44. It was a uh, small label in, in the UK. And I remember, I mean, there was no big record company. My, my record label tried to build their own dependency in England. Mm -hmm. And so they released it um, uh, with that. But um, yeah, 44. But still, I, I have lots of uh, streams from, from England as well. Yeah. yeah, I'm just thinking gig-wise, you know, um, if you, um, and we love you too, someone's saying, I love you, Liege, 72. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, um, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It'd be great to I see you do, back out. I, I would do your pre-brand band, you know. That <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Honestly, Sebastian, you don't need to. You don't. You need to stand in your own, you know, with, you, the songs that you've got and what you do. Um, yeah, just, I, I would just would like to, you know, I like performing and I do it like once a year, but um, then I see all the other artists. Yeah. Um, and um, of course, it's also the perception here yeah, because I see, I'm friends with all the artists. So every day I see somebody is performing somewhere. So my thing is, like they're all performing all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just me yeah. who's not performing. Oh, oh. so um, Liege72, what do you think about 24-7? Um, yeah. I think it's great. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's great what they're doing, yeah. yeah. Is it still the original lineup? I'm, I'm not sure. I, I haven't um, met them. I met so, them in the 90s and then yeah. I liked them. Oh, so you met Stacey in the 90s, did you? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so Stacey's been going out um, doing 90s shows for quite a long time. I think it maybe he was one of the first, I'm not sure, like maybe eight or ten mm. years ago maybe, with his wife, um, Leanne. And she's just pregnant with their second baby, unless, I don't know if she's had the baby. But yeah, Kelly um, Overett, one of the singers previously of Capella, has joined Stacey, did you know? And she's doing an eight or nine, nine tour dates this year. Oh, wow. Yeah, right. after a long time, she's not been, um, you know, she's back. But I met Kelly um, a few weeks ago in Prague. Prague was amazing. Oh, you'd love Prague. Oh, my yeah. God. We did um, the, um, we did 90s Explosion. Oh. There was 20,000 in the audience, Sebastian. Whoa. And it was just electric. It was just awesome. Mm. And yeah, Kelly, that was her first show back after like 20, 30 years. Yeah. And yeah, 28 years or something. And she wow. just nailed it. It was like she'd never been away. She's doing great. So she, she's on tour right. with Stacey at the moment. But um, Stacey said he's going into retirement at the end of this year. And I think Nancy from 24-7 is 
gigging now. Wow. So you've got kind of two, I think mm. this is correct. So mm. maybe the fans will tell me otherwise. Um, but yeah, that that's what they're doing. There's two groups and Nan Nancy's doing it. So yeah. yes, 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 yes. Cool, cool, cool. So wow, we are like an hour and 25. So we're going to call it a day because you need to rest as well. And, yeah. you know, we've been on for nearly an hour and a half. So thank you so and, much. Um, and for the real maybe pleasure. say that all the, all the people who didn't, who only just joined in, they can see the rerun also what we said before. They will, and stuff. Yeah, I'll do the replay. So after this, um, it'll just take some time to upload. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that's all. So what well, about Captain Hollywood? Hollywood. Love, love it. I had the album. Yeah. Uh, and I uh, met actually you. the songwriter. He, he lives... Um, um, what's his name? Nosy Cutsman. He he wrote a lot of hits, yeah. and um, he, for also for Captain Hollywood. Uh, more yeah. and more and more. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So um, I wrote, wrote, met him in my hometown, and we made a selfie. selfie. So the guy who who wrote the uh, the hits for Captain Hollywood. So. Yeah, I'm. I actually met Nosy. I'm sure. I'm sure it was him mm. at uh, an airport because I when I left Max, I did a solo song mm -hmm. called. Um, Rhythm of Love, I can't remember it, under the name of Linda M, if anyone wants to check it out. And um, I think he had something to deal with it as well. He was into everything. Nice. Everybody's wishing us a wonderful night. Oh, get your beauty sleeps. It's not that It's not that late here, actually, Holly. Uh, that was great. Thank you both. Take care. You too, Clark. I, I have to say amazing. this. Um, somebody, a friend of mine online, Armin Weisheit, and he did the cover for the new version of Shut Up and Sleep With Me. So mm. if you watch the, the release, um, the, the anniversary release of Shut Up and Sleep With You, which is just out now. Yeah. The yeah. cover, so he, he did that. So thank you very much, Armin, wow. Armin oh. Weisheit. And um, he did, um, he, he fed, like, we did it like the modern way with K KI, uh, artificial intelligence. So he fed pictures of me to the computer and somehow, I don't know how, made an artificial picture, yeah. um, which looks a little bit like me, but also, I think much better. <laughs> clever. So clever. So, um, yeah. So yeah. The whole of because it. I thought an, I didn't want to put an old picture mm -hmm. on me uh, of me, but also like I, I wrote the song uh, 28 years ago, or actually 30 years ago, because I wrote it like earlier before it was released. Um, mm -hmm. So I was just thinking of a young man, you know, what I wrote. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to put my old, <laughs> old face yeah, on the record, yeah. but totally because um, because it came from this voice of the young man so yeah. so we did it that way yeah get it get it. tape hit said thanks for the interview you're very welcome mm -hmm. we love to play sim with sebastian and max yeah. hit thank and, you so much and, and on radio tape great. hit thank you from billing thank Thank you so much, Tape Hits. And Nozzy, uh, Frederick said, not, no, Nozzy wrote, oh, Culture Bee, Nina, Kim Sanders, a great man. He is a great man. Did, yeah. Oh, right. Holly's saying it's 9.30 a.m. Where is she? At 9.30 a.m. in the morning. Wow. Wow. Um, and Morgan's got to go. Bye, Morgan. Lovely. Lots of love. I'll see you later. And can I ask how old you are? Ooh, who's she asking? Well, you can always so, ask, but... Yes. <laughs> I, I turned 25, <laughs> but Me too. I, don't, I don't say how often, but... <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't mind saying my age. I think people can work it out how old we are. Yeah. You know, from the 90s, I was 30 three, years ago. I years old when I wrote <laughs> Shut Up and Sleep It. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I love it. Oh, California. Oh, hi, Holly. Oh, California. California. Oh. Wow, that's pretty cool. And then someone said, Saludos de Argentina. Yeah. So, so everyone, we're going to we're gonna leave it here. Um, it's just coming up to half past now. We've been on for an hour and a half. And that's Sebastian great. Needs it, was, rest. it was nice speaking to you. It was to amazing. the messages of the fans. Mwah, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. There will be a replay, so please, um, but just give me time to, for it to upload. Yeah. Um, welcome to watch the replay, and I'll put all the links in for Sebastian, and please follow him. Um, we love you guys, and Sebastian, thank you. Yeah. I love you so much. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much. It was really, really fun. Thank you. Okay. Hello from New York City. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Take care, everyone. Bye. Take care. Bye. Speak Bye -bye. soon. Bye. Yeah.